So there's some drama going on right now in the YouTube commentary section between Jaden and uh, Cheeto. Now to give you the background of these two YouTubers, basically they're both through commentary. They're both successful at it and also one of the biggest commentary YouTubers out there right now. But it seems like people like a Cheeto more than they do like Jaden. And it's for good reason also. So we're going to look over some evidence that we have here and also show some clips between Jaden and a Cheeto of them going at each other. Taking a well, give me your cell phone. First of all, you have this really weird habit of like speculating that you might have autism. Like, wh why are you doing that? I think I have autism. If I do have autism, it's not the funny kind. I may have slight autism. I'm too autistic to be hot. Either I'm slightly autistic or emotionally stunned. I am 6'3", trans, and probably autistic. Hey girl, did it hurt from heaven when you fell because you're beautiful? I'm autistic, lol. Is being asexual like an autism thing? And does that mean I'm not actually asexual? And I don't know, I'm just weird and autistic? So get this, Jaden stopped being being friends with a known pedophile, not because he found out that he was actually talking with a pedophile, but because the pedophile said something mean. Like, imagine that being your reason to, like, cut ties with a guy who's literally grooming minors. Anyways, there's this YouTuber named Natty Forsyth, which, who cares, right, he's completely irrelevant, but the biggest thing he did in his entire career was get himself exposed for sending prawn to a 12-year-old. I want religion gone. I never said ban all religious people ever. I said the world would be better without religion. Dude, that's like saying I don't want to ban all trans people, I just think the world without them would be better. Right now, the only thing keeping me sane in these hard times that me and my country are going through is my faith and the way people are looking at it is saddening. You are weak then. Simple as that. False belief is ignorance. Okay, wow. So there's a lot to talk about here. So, honestly, Jaden is looking really bad. It's looking like a scumbag right now. So we're gonna start with the autism. Man. Like, what the F is wrong with you, bro? Like, if you really feel like you have autism, like a Cheeto says, why don't you go to the doctor and see and i don't know what made him think he has autism like do you feel like you think slower than everybody else in society because honestly you seem pretty smart to me smart in the sense like you don't really have brain functioning problems you know what i'm saying usually people with autism they have some type of problem where they think slower than everybody else in society and, and jen is not one of those people so where did this notion of i have autism come from is it because you want to be cool we do live in a gen z era where having mental problems seems to be the cool thing all these Gen Z kids on TikTok and stuff like that swear up and down to Jesus that they have some type of mental problem. It's absolutely crazy. And I don't even know where this came from. Look, I'm not saying it's wrong not to embrace autism people because they should, but when I was growing up, if you were autistic or you even had an autistic family member, that was embarrassing. So I'm glad that being autistic, I guess, is cool or just embraced now in a loving way and it's not being made a fan of anymore. But the fact that all you people want to be autistic or something that these actual autistic people can't even control is how highly annoying and stupid because I'm pretty sure these people wish they can be you. They wish they could be regular people in society and be looked at as a regular people in society. But due to something going wrong with the birth, they're stuck with the mental problem that they can't control. So Jaden, you're completely wrong for trying to brag so goddamn hard that you have autism, bro. If you really feel that way, go to a doctor and see if you do. Okay, the next thing that the Cheeto called Jaden out for is in being friends for the pedo. Now, I don't know anything about the situation, so I can't really say if he's right or wrong wrong but i would say this if he truly is a pedo sending pics to 12 year olds you're completely wrong but continue being friends with this guy and this is a problem with the trans and gay community specifically more of the trans you guys have a predator problem and you blatantly ignore it like i can't tell you how many videos i've seen of like drag queens in school teaching kids about like gay stuff and all this is nonsense in case you don't know allegedly this is a scientific fact i i think but statistics say about like 80 to 90 percent maybe a little bit lower like 70 percent is all it's most definitely a large margin of about 50 percent of homosexual men has been violated as a kid now i don't know that's the same thing for lesbians but you can see why that's a problem with you being friends with the pedo because i said before you guys blatantly ignore the predator side and this is why a lot of you guys probably are gay but you think it's something natural like oh i was born gay or blah 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 which nobody is born gay that's not a scientific fact that somebody could be born gay now there's things that you see in as a kid that some kind of picked up with you that can influence your ways but nobody's born naturally gay that's not happening majority of gay men has been violated as a kid and inappropriately touched that is a fact so if this guy natalie sent his wee wee to 12 year olds and you're still friends with him you're both done and surprisingly that guy natalie still has a youtube channel like as because he commented on the Jaden's post ex responded to cheeto so that's absolutely crazy to me i don't know how youtube is nothing about that but whatever and the last thing that you like called 
Jaden on was religion now. Honestly, in this part, I might be a little bit biased on Jaden's side because I don't agree with religion. I feel like it's a doctrine being pushed onto the world. And I think it was the worst thing for the black community, speaking as a black man. So religion highly pisses me off a lot. And I get irritated when people are preaching in and blah, blah, blah. And ignore the blatant evilness that goes on in religion. Like, bro, 800 years ago, the Roman Catholic Church would literally murk people for not believing in it. So I don't know. I feel like you kind of bully half of the world into believing in religion, honestly. And like, there's no proof that it exists at all. This is the reason why they tell you to walk with the blind faith. It was like, I don't believe in that. I'm not doing that. The fuck? Sounds like an imaginary folklore. Like, why the hell would I just blindly believe in something? I think people only believe this because of normalization. Like, coming out the moon, you're being told to believe in God and God is real. When you pass away, you're gonna go to heaven and chill with him and all this nonsense. But if you disobey him and don't believe in him, you're gonna go to hell with the devil and be enslaved for eternity. But when you take a step back and look at religion logical, you see how imaginary it is. The shit seems made up because it is. Go look up Constantine and that whole thing in Majig and you'll understand what I'm talking about when I say it's made up. There's literally historical facts telling you that religion is made up, but people just won't take their time and do their research because they're being told what to believe in. But anyway, that's enough rambling about religion. Jake didn't have responded to a Cheeto and it was kind of whack, honestly. Natty Forsyth is not in fact a pedo. These are false allegations that Nat has debunked on multiple occasions. Recently, Nat and I had a fight because Nat was supporting someone that I, I thought was weird. Someone that was up to some like weird behavior. And so I made a comment being like, oh, you did this thing. Like just because you think that's okay doesn't mean that this is okay. And I was I was bringing up the, the like false allegations to kind of slight Nat. It was, it was messed up on my part and I apologize for that. And these are tweets that I have apologized for numerous times in the past that I've had like hundreds of videos made on me because of these tweets. I really don't feel like going over them for the hundredth time, but I like to make edgy jokes on, on my Twitter account. I like to shit post. I, I like to say crazy things. That's just kind of my brand of humor on there. And so yeah, you heard that his whole defense was my YouTube channel and Twitter are separate. So I'm guessing he has some type of social personality disorder or something like that. And Alex, I don't even have much to say about Jenny because his excuses were just stupid. Like he was talking about how he had an autistic brother and was like, how's supposed to justify he's autistic like jokes or him trying to determine that he has autism or not but just like we said before you could just go to a hospital and see and stop making tweets about it and also he tried to justify his edgy jokes by saying they're just jokes and his personality between his youtube and his twitter are totally different which doesn't really matter but anyways that's the end of this video let me know what you think about this whole drama in the comment section below make sure to like subscribe and see you on the next video <laughs>